The highly controversial water curtailment issue could be closer to resolution for this year. Idaho farmers are taking a closer look at Governor Brad Little's new executive order. He says it will lead to a new long-term agreement between water users that works for all farmers while still providing for a healthy aquifer. Local News 8 Seth Ratliff is here with us in the studio with reaction from the farmer. Seth. Todd, farmers' opinions are split concerning the Governor Little's Protecting Idaho Water Sovereignty Act. While many see the new act as a way forward amid, nego amid negotiations, Bingham County farmer Brian Murdoch calls the move an empty gesture. Putting a gun to our heads. Um, we are still in these negotiations and he wants a mitigated settlement. Of the six major points the order calls for, Murdoch believes the only move of value was that the governor called on the legislature to convene the Interim Natural Resources Committee before the 2025 legislative session. This starts the legislative fix that we need to see happening. We are not being represented well by the Idaho Department of Water Resources or the state via the governor or the lieutenant governor, and so we have to fall back to our representatives and our senators from our areas. This is not Twin Falls Canal Company's water. This is the state's water, and we are just simply utilizing it for full. We are trying to use full economic benefit. This is what Idaho agriculture is all about. Although not every uh, local farmer agrees with Murdoch, other farmers tell Local News 8 they do believe that if surface water users and groundwater users negotiate at an even playing field, that they can find a solution that benefits everyone. The negotiations were part of the original settlement agreement that ended the water curtailment order. We will have an update for you with any new developments on those talks over the next three months. Reporting in the studio, I'm Seth Ratliff.